Right, today I am going to be making a fixed ridge line um, as opposed to an adjustable ridge line. I have plenty of videos on that, but I have a hammock that I've been using now for a couple years, my favorite hammock, and I've set the ridge line. I haven't moved it in quite a while, and so I'm going to take the ridge line off of that hammock, uh, an adjustable, and use that for a new hammock. But I'm going to go ahead and make a fixed ridge line. Um, the length that uh, is working for that hammock and I also am having a lot of fun because I am kind of testing out so I've got the 1 8 amp steel and that's the yellow and the 764 is the green and so that's uh, and that's what normally people use for their whoopee slings and soft shackles and ridge lines I see a lot of people are going for even the smaller, like the Zingit type of ridge line. Um, I'm having a little bit of fun and I am kind of testing out the whole theory on uh, how you distribute your weight on your suspension. And uh, just having fun and we'll see where it gets me. But this is the 1 8, so I'm going to make a fixed ridge line in the 1 8. And so um, the ridge line length that works for that hammock is 110 inch ridge line and so I have 120 inches of Amsteel 1 8 and uh, I've worked with this a little bit before so what I'm going to do is just make two loops on either end and make it a fixed ridge line so what we need to do is make two locked Brummel loops on each end so what you'll need is Amsteel it can be 764 or 1 8 like what I'm doing a Sharpie is always nice. A real nice pair of scissors. Uh, these are the scissors that I get from um, Costco. They're really nice. They're Scotch titaniums and they can cut through this uh, really well. Uh, measuring tape. And I'm still working through my bag of uh, floral wire. So this is a real nice wire and I got a whole bag of it. So um, I've got about 10 pieces left of it. So what I do is I fold that in half and this is what I'll use for a fish wire when we go for any berries and then I make a little hook on the end to help me from not having it suck in um, and losing my spot. So what we need to do is make our first loop lock brummel. This is just like normal. and. Uh, so the five inch mark is how I've kind of calculated all this out. So it's 120 inches, I want to end up with 110 inches. So that is where I want it to be the end. Hope that makes sense. So the first thing I always do with when I do this is you undo the end to thin it up a little bit. Now what's kind of cool is is this 1 8 is has more fibers in it and it's much stronger. Uh, the breaking strength of the 764 is I think right around 1600 pounds and the breaking strength of the 1 8 is 2000 or maybe this is 1200. Let me check real quick. Okay, the, the breaking strength of the Amsteel 764 is 1,600 pounds, and it has eight strands when you pull it apart. And the breaking strength of the 1 8 is 2,500 pounds brake strength. Um, and if you look at the like a uh, hammock hang calculator, and in the worst conditions. So in the worst conditions, if you have, say, like the trees 22 feet apart and you push it to a five degree hang angle, then you're getting a cord tension of 1,262 pounds and a shear force of 1,257 pounds. And that's for someone like me is a 220 pounds. And so even though the 764 is rated higher than that, 
with things like knots and bends, even though Amsteel is really awesome about bend strength. Um, what I'm doing is I'm pushing it up to the 1 8th, where it's 2,500 pounds, so I could actually go with a zero hang angle uh, with this Amsteel, which for me is great because I have had instances where it's I'm um, night hiking in and I just want to get my hammock up and I don't have to worry about angles and uh, so this just makes sense for me to do. So what I'm going to do is I've pulled apart the end there and there's uh, there's 12 strands instead of 8 strands but the key is you just thin it out about half of them. This is where the scissors come in really nice. They just go through it like butter. So now that's thinner and that'll make it easier to pull through. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I just pull it apart with my fingers. And you kind of make it even. And then we just chop it off. Kind of do that right in the very beginning and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, so I think this is the end. So there's my mark, and I don't need a huge loop. I just need enough of a loop to put a carabiner or a soft shackle through. And, but I definitely want that to be my end point. We'll make the loop about that big. So what I do now is kind of decide, and you can measure that out one and a half inches or whatever, but I'll take my fish tool, I'll put it right through the middle of the Amsteel, right at that point. Actually, just to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to mark that side, and you'll see why here in a second. Okay, so I've pushed that through the middle there, and you got like half on either side. We take this end here and open up the little loop on the fish wire and pull it over then we just push that through and now we just kind of pull it and kind of massage it and it'll pop through just like that now that other little mark that I made wherever it went is right there so what I do with that is, now we're going to do the lock bromel part, I push my fish wire through, and you can, if you've never worked with Amsteel before, it's a hollow core braid. So you can squish it a little bit, and that loosens it up, and then you just push your fish tape on through there, you try, not, you try and get it in between each of the the uh, the braids come on it's like that and so now what we do is we take the whole other end make sure it's not knotted so you go all the way down to the other end open up your fish tape fold it over and then you pull that through now this is just the same as you would do on a um, adjustable ridge line. You always have one end that is that has a, a fixed loop on it. So you get down to where you have something like that and you massage it forward and that right there is called the lock brummel. So that is a static knot locked and that's that is good to go but to make it look nice you want to bury this piece so you just fold it over you go about an inch and a half beyond it so you fold it over like that you go about an inch and a half beyond you squish it down find your fish wire now this is where kind of the fun part of working with Amsteel comes in is now you want to go down through the middle of the braid and you can squish it up a little bit now I'm just kind of pushing the wire down through the middle 
If it pops out along the way, that's okay. Just pull it back. And then you want to bring it down as close as you can to this knotted area and have it come out somewhere down in there like that. And we open up the open up the fish wire. Okay, it's kind of going backwards on me. So you open up the fish wire, put your thinned out section on, the little tail there, fold it over, and then you start squishing the amp steel up. And now you're going to drive this piece up inside of the amp steel. And the best way to do that is just kind of squish and massage and twist. And it'll eventually start to go inside of itself. Now it's starting to go in there. See? Hopefully soon it will start coming out this other end down here. So there it comes out, right there. So that's all the way through. We can take off the fish wire. And you want to pull that real tight so it's all the way in there. Pull it real tight. Then you just come to this end and start milking that back over and it'll eventually just suck it all the way in so now you have a fixed loop lock brummel and bury now <clears throat> kind of comes the harder part we want to do the same thing on the other end So we will measure out so right there is the other five inches. We'll bend it over because that'll be my other end, kind of like we did on the other side. This is the tail piece. Just gonna pick something along there, and so what I'm gonna do is gonna make a mark right there, and you can mark the other side too if you want. So now we will take our our fish tape and we'll put it through this dot, not the one on the tail. Squish a little bit. If we go right through the middle. And we'll put that part through, the thin part through, bring it down and fold it over. And we pull that through like that. And we pull it all the way through until this dot comes out on the other side. And we squish a little bit. We go through the middle again. You want it like halfway through. Now, yes, this will be a fixed ridge line, but I don't see any reason once I've found out the length that's worked for me for a couple years to not have a fixed ridge line. Um, what you get out of that is less weight, so you don't have that whole adjustable part. And this is theoretically even lighter than a UCR. But since I'm going to the 1 8th, I'm gaining a little bit of weight. But this will probably be just as heavy as, say, a normal ridge line. So now to get this other part through, we don't have a thinned out part. We put that all the way through until we get to, like, the thinner part of the cord. And then we bring it through, and it takes a little bit more effort. But sure enough, it comes through, and we pull kind of got to work our way through it there and it eventually just kind of pops through. No big deal. 
Now we're back to this little figure eight. So we bring out our locked Brummel. So there's our locked Brummel again. We tighten it down. Now that's a real solid knot. And then we lay this down on itself. I'm gonna trim this up a little bit. This is all non-structural now. So we lay that down on itself. Go past it about an inch and a half, right about there. Then we take our fish wire and we go down through the middle. And you can kind of squish it up a little bit, that helps. Kind of watch it, you do not want it to come out. Kind of bend it a little bit while it's in there. Squish. Thread her down until it gets all the way down to the base of your lock Brummel knot. You want to try and bring it up as close as you can to that lock Brummel. And you open it up, put your thinned out part in, fold it over, and you do your little massage. Scrunch it up, massage. It eventually starts to go in. Now it's going in. Hopefully it'll start to come out this side. There it comes out. I'm going to pull so that's all flat. Pull it out, get rid of our fish wire. Pull it real tight and then milk that back up until it disappears. So there we go. So this is a fixed ridge line. And now I would just connect that to the end of my hammock with the carabiner, soft shackle, or whatever I got going on. Again, this is a 1/8 amp steel, so I'm easily over 2,000 pounds, even with bends and knots. But uh, this stuff is awesome. And there we go. All right. See you on the trail. Thanks a lot. Bye now.